Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the blue worm bin for an update. And this is the side we fed on last week. I'm really doing my best to try to shorten some of these videos for you so they kind of get to the point. But when I took the lid off, there was condensation. I got some sprouts going in here. So let's see. Oh yes, we've got some worm action. And this is over that melon. Check that out, cocoon and a grub, probably fruit fly. But I'm still super pleased. We got the worms working. really trying to pull up this bottom material check it out oh I'm really pleased I think I have not been doing my videos quickly enough and by the time I get to them they're finished their feeding so they spread out um, so getting in here quickly has been highly beneficial as far as for really getting to see those high worm densities which are so fun at least for me I think you guys like them too, from what I can tell. But holy cow. This is so great. I haven't seen a whole lot of worm balls in some of my 10 gallon totes lately. And like I said, I, I think I'm just not feeding frequently enough. And I, by the time I get to my check-in, they've worked through it. Um, I do notice it feels a little bit wet. So I'm going to need to add some bedding today. I think I'm going to have to do some shredded bedding because I think that's really a little bit more efficient at um, really absorbing the moisture for us. But there's worms all throughout this side where we fed and, and there's minimal food left, but they're definitely working it. Look at this banana peel. Just been... Picked clean and primarily babies on there. Babies love the skins for some reason. It's the rest of that banana peel. But it's gutted. So they did their their work. So we'll, we will give them another feeding uh, this week. And I'm looking at this guy over here. Check out how big that clitellum is. We got some more babies on the way. Okay, so let me hop over to the other blue worm bin. We'll look in there real quick, and then um, we'll get them get them fed up. All right, so quick peek in here. To see how they did in this bin on the feeding. And again, a lot of. Juvenile worms, baby worms. Another baby's about to be born soon when they lay these cocoons for me. Looks like they've worked through just about everything as well. Lots of good action going on. Another fruit fly larva, that's kind of frustrating and I see one lone beetle there. Still seeing a handful of them, but if the neem works the way they say it works, um, it sterilizes some of these pests. So um, they'll still be around for a while, but their numbers should start to dwindle when they're not able to reproduce. So um, not going to worry too much, like I said in all my videos. A few of them are fine. It's just when there's an overabundance that I feel the need to address it a little bit. 
Maybe more for my own peace of mind, not so much for the worms. The worms are just fine. But just a handful of them. He won't even let me squish him. Anyway, he's fine. So let's get this food in here, and um, that will be our update for the week. All right, so time to feed these blues up. Gonna clear out some space over here. And I see a little something down here. I think that's a fruit fly larva. So we'll make sure that we bury this up real well today. I was hoping my camera would focus, but it doesn't seem to want to focus real well. There we go. So I'm just going to throw them back down here in the bottom, try to smother them out. So let's see. Do a handful or two of our dry bedding here. And I got a nice little array of food today. Some worm favorites. And I'm going to try to um, prevent too much liquid from coming in here because these are definitely ultra wet. So I'm going to add a little bit more bedding on top here, just loosely because we're going to cover it with castings as well. Sprinkle our mix of neem cake, kelp meal, eggshell, and diatomaceous earth. Give it a little extra. And then just bury it all up with some of these castings. Make sure none of these bugs make their way out. So level this out back here. The remnants of a banana peel bury that up and let's hop over and feed the other bin so for sake of time i just laid down this bedding already and i'm gonna get the rest of this food if i can get it out of here nice and wet that's for sure a lot of banana peels again and some banana waste uh, I think I mentioned it before, but I get a lot of my scraps from a good friend at work. So I don't always know exactly what I'm getting, but she does go through a lot of bananas, which is great because the worms love it. So there we go. Let's sprinkle some of our mix in here. Add some more bedding. Sorry, guys. Definitely need the bedding for moisture control just because of these types of foods. Then we'll bury it back up. And we're going to call it a week. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys soon for an update. Be sure to be checking in because I'm going to be posting lots of extra content the next few days since I will be at the Vermiculture Conference in North Carolina, and I got plenty of information I want to share with you guys, some interviews, um, all of that type of thing, so let me know if there's any questions you'd like me to ask the experts, and I'll be sure to try to do that. So. Hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon.